So you want to be the ultimate ocean's predator, you naughty bastard. Well then this video is for you. Most challenging part of the game is definitely the beginning. You are nothing but a little toothless bastard that needs to eat seaweed in order to grow. That would not be a problem if there weren't level 8 alligators bossing you all over the place. As a pup, there is only one thing you need to do when you see an alligator and that is impersonate Forrest Gump. Get to level 7 or 8 and then take them on. And no, I'm not saying you can't do it before. Here is footage of level 4 shark vs alligator showing you how to do it. However, mistake or two can end in your quick death. My point is that there is no real reward for taking out much higher level enemies at the beginning, if not for personal satisfaction of some sort. My advice is to collect caches, landmarks, plates and so on since everything gives experience that leads to growth and these experience gains are most substantial at the beginning of the game. This means spamming sonar every time it is ready for collectibles to show up because its reach is short at its starting levels, so spam it every single time it is available. Caches are best for early levels because they grant ton of materials and therefore experience points. Get to level 8 or something like that and then show everyone who's the real boss. Here are some combat tips on how to be successful versus larger predators at the beginning. Hit and dodge is your best bet. This is what I did all the time and died few times only even against higher level enemies. Hit and dodge and then move away and wait for them to glow. When they're glowing this means they are vulnerable for thrashing, so lunge in and start biting them. When they stop glowing, dodge one more time and move away again. Note that you can only trash an enemy if you are the same or higher level than them. Later on sets are unlocked that grant various bonuses and are good against specific enemy types. This is where things get interesting as almost every action starts to have modifiers. There are three sets at the moment in the game, Bio, Shadow and Bone. Bio and Shadow are great versus sea predators and Bone is great versus boats and human hunters. Bone set pieces are acquired by defeating apex predators in each area which are unlocked after completing story objectives, so it is unmissable. Shadow set pieces are unlocked after visiting all landmarks in each area. One area, one piece. This is why you shouldn't neglect landmarks. License plates are not that important, but landmarks are because of this set. Bioelectric set pieces are unlocked after defeating bounty hunters. They appear after you eat couple of humans and then kill whole bunch of hunters. In some cases license plates are way out of your reach and can seem impossible to get. Thing is that sometimes you need to evolve into bigger shark to be able to do double jumps and jump higher. Even then it might not be enough. Here is how to do it to reach even the most annoying ones. Submerge and start lunging towards the surface. This will propel you a bit. While in air spam jump twice and then press bite when at peak to get additional boost. Last tip is navigational one. Caves in this game can be really convoluted at times. Proper maze if you will. Developers decided to help players find exit by introducing yellow plants and yellow lights. They are always present, so to find exit just follow them. 
Anyway, that is it. Man Eater is not complex or challenging game, but some of these things it does not tell you, so I hope this video helps somehow. Thanks for watching and happy hunting!